Oh man, it's finally here. Tell you what, y'all, I'm super pumped about this one here. What's up everybody, thanks for stopping by. My name's Adam and welcome to my channel. This week's video, I am going to set up and uh, do initial thoughts of the Euro Mesh Wi-Fi system. Uh, for those of you that have subscribed already, I apologize for missing last week's video. I caught the flu and was down pretty much the whole week dealing with that, um, but I'm feeling much better now, so I needed to hurry up and try and get you guys a good video. And again, apologize for missing last week's video. So the reason that I bought this Euro Mesh Wi-Fi system, um, I've got a current single source uh, Wi-Fi router, a Linksys smart Wi-Fi router. Uh, it's a great router, you know, but it is getting old. It's probably four years old at this point. And in my apartment, even though my apartment's small, I think it's about 650 square feet, give or take, um, there are spots where I've got terrible uh, Wi-Fi coverage, uh, and then I have issues where my phone sometimes just gets kicked off of the Wi-Fi network, even if I'm 10, 15 feet away from the router. I don't know what the issue is with that or why it does it. But uh, as I keep getting more smart things for my smart home, I'm thinking that could be part of the problem. Um, the single source router is just starting to get a little bit too congested or cluttered. Um, so I thought maybe upgrading to this would help solve those problems, give me more reliable and faster Wi-Fi connection speeds. So um, just to give you an idea of what I've got connected to my Wi-Fi, um, I've got three smart TVs, three Echo devices, 11 smart light bulbs, the smart lock, two motion sensors, my Wise Cam, a laptop, my cell phone, and sometimes there's a switch. Plus I've got my Xbox hardwired into the router. So that makes uh, 24 things connected to my Wi-Fi router plus the Xbox, so 25 things running off of that single source router. Um, the things in my bedroom, they got uh, much slower speeds than obviously the things in the living room or the things that are much closer to the router. So I was hoping that by getting the, uh, you know, the two node mesh system, it would give me consistent speed across my entire apartment, no matter where I'm at. Uh, some of the issues with the current router, like I'd already said once or twice, uh, just terrible spotty coverage. Sometimes, uh, depending on where I'm at, I'm getting you know less than five megabytes a second download speeds. And then sometimes I could be getting, uh, depending on what band I'm on, if I'm on the five gigahertz band, I can get a little over a hundred megabytes of download speed. And that's the, uh, the plan that I've got with my uh, internet service provider is a 100 megabytes a second download. Um, another issue, like I said, uh, the phone loses its connection just randomly, don't know why. Uh, and then when, uh, you know, my son's over on his switch and I'm on the Xbox and we're playing Fortnite together, there are some lag issues and I don't know if that's just because too much bandwidth total for my plan for my 100 megabytes a second, or if it's just because the router is getting uh, overloaded that one router is just uh, too much going on with with the dual gaming um, live gaming on Fortnite and then all my other smart things that are connected to the router um, so what I'm hoping for with this uh, much better uh, Wi-Fi coverage both 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz around my entire apartment no matter where I'm at um, uh, more stable connections no more uh, <clears throat> disconnected phones or disconnected Wi-Fi, um, anything, smart home objects, my son's Switch, uh, some of my friend's phone if they're over, um, and no gaming lag. So what we're going to do today, I'll open this thing up, unbox it, we'll see how it comes in, how it's packaged and everything, what comes with it. Um, I'll do speed tests with my current uh, Linksys single router. I will do uh, four different speed tests in four different main locations of my apartment and then I will set this one up. We'll go over that and see how easy, difficult, whatever, um, how the setup goes, the setup process. And then I will do speed tests, uh, the same exact speed tests with 
the mesh Wi-Fi system set up and being used. And then when we're all done with that, we'll uh, meet back here and we'll go over the initial thoughts and see what we think and um, see what you all think about it too. Do me a favor, if you like this video, hit that like button for me. If you like the content and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button for me. If you have questions, suggestions, anything at all, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. All right, so here's the layout of my apartment. And I apologize, this is set up off of the floor plan that my neato bot vac um, drew up for me. Uh, it's, I figured it'd be a little bit more accurate than me trying to sketch out a picture of my place. Currently, my Lynx's single source router is right here on my entertainment center. I'll do four tests. The first test will be right here in the living room, roughly 10 to 15 feet away from the router. The second test will be right here in the kitchen. The third test will be in the spare room. And then the fourth test will be right here in my room. And this will be the farthest away. So I'll do these initial tests here. And then after we get the Euro Mesh Wi-Fi system set up, the gateway router will be right here just because that's where the modem is. And then I'll put the satellite node right here so that it reaches from both sides of my apartment. And we'll do the speed tests in the same order, same locations, after I get the Euro Mesh Wi-Fi system set up. Okay, so the first speed test is going to be on the 2.4 gigahertz sitting in my living room about 15 feet away from the router. All right, 8.7 download speed. About a 5.2 upload speed. All right, now I'll switch to the five gigahertz. And we'll do a test with the five gigahertz. All right, so an 80 megabytes per second download on the five gigahertz. And the 5.2 upload. All right, the second speed test with the current uh, single source router is in the kitchen. And we're doing the test on the 2.4 gigahertz stream. In the kitchen, I'm probably about 25 to 30 feet away from the router. If you see up in the top corner, I've got full Wi-Fi strength, but my download speed is 0.55, which is terrible. So 0.55 download, 4.45 upload on the 2.4 gigahertz. Switch back to the 5 gigahertz. And we'll run another test. I haven't moved, but the 5 gigahertz connection is actually much better further away from the router than the 2.4 gigahertz, which seems kind of backwards. So 5 gigahertz in the kitchen, 93 megabytes download, 5.2 upload. All right, now I'm in the spare room, probably about five feet away from the router, but there's a wall between me and the router. So we'll test first on the 2.4. All right, so 16 megabytes download in the spare room on the 2.4. Uh, 5.1 upload. Now we're on the test on the 5. And 
we'll see what the speeds are on the five. So five gigahertz, about five feet away from the router with a wall in between me and the router. 74.7 download speed. And five point something, 5.2 upload speed. Yep, 5.21 upload speed. Okay, so now I'm in my bedroom, which is about 35 feet away from the router, give or take. Uh, a couple of walls between me and the router and the hallway. So let's run the first test on the 2.4 gigahertz band. Let's see what we get this far away with walls and a hallway. All right, 3.63 download speed. And 5.2 upload speed. Switch over to the 5 gigahertz band and see what that gets us. Run another test. So 55.8 download on the 5 gigahertz, furthest away from the router, the furthest point in my house away from the router, and 5.23 upload speed. Alright, so let's open it up and see what we got inside this box. side there. There's one of the nodes I'm guessing. And here is the other node. Got some nice foam padding on the top of the box, bottom of the lid. Here is the node itself. We'll just put this one off to the side since it's the same thing. Not too awful big, not as small as I was thinking based on the reviews that I had seen and the videos I was watching before I bought it. Got an input and an output jack and then the USB-C power supply cable. Thing feels solid, it's got, got a nice weight to it. <clears throat> Underneath the tray. Open this card to get started. We'll go over that in a second. And the power cord. Looks very nice, matches the node. See, the videos I saw showed that it came with a Ethernet cord, too, but this one doesn't have it. Let's check the other box and see if that box comes with one. Let's check this box out and see if it comes with an Ethernet cable. If not, I've got one with my current router, so it's not a huge deal. Just kind of surprised that it doesn't have one. Card for this one, there's the power cable again, and there's the ethernet cable. So, I don't know if it matters. From what I had read, it doesn't matter. But, since this one had the ethernet cable, this is the one that I will put in place of my current router. And this one here will be the remote node that I will put on my dresser in my bedroom. 
All right, let's go ahead and get the thing set up and then run some speed tests and see if it performs much better, any better, the same, or worse. All right, so let's see what we got to do to get this thing set up. This is the one that had the Ethernet cable included in the box, so we'll start with this one. Open this card to get started. First, we need to download the Eero app for iOS or Android. Then disconnect your modem and anything connected to it. And then with the modem unplugged, open the app and follow along. So first thing we'll do is get the Eero app. All right, your simple, reliable Wi-Fi system. Next, <clears throat> blanket your whole home in fast Wi-Fi. Let's move this out of the way. Stream your favorite shows or take video calls from your patio without buffering or drop-offs. Manage your network all in one place with the app. You can connect devices, pause the internet, share your network, and much more. And regular updates will keep your devices safe. For more security and privacy features, Euro Secure has your back. All right, get started. Create an account. Well, I will set that up real quick. All right, so I made an account, I logged in. Now I need to start setup. You're ready to start setting up Euro. Make sure you have the following gateway Euro device. That will be this one here. The included power cord. And then the ethernet cord. Okay, so we've got all those things. First, unplug your old modem and old router from power. If you have any other equipment connected to your modem, unplug the equipment and restart your modem. All right, so I will go and do that now. Okay, so the modem and the router has been unplugged. Connect your gateway Euro device to your modem using the ethernet cable that came in the box. All right, let's go do that. All right, that's been done. Allow location permission. In order to find your Euro over Bluetooth, you'll need to enable location permission. Euro does not access any location information. So we'll allow that. All right, so I found it, and I'm going to put that in the living room. Give your Euro Wi-Fi network a name and password. So I'm going to name this the same as my old Wi-Fi since all of my smart devices and um, everything is already set up on the old Wi-Fi that I was using um, for the last several years. So I'll just name it the same exact Wi-Fi name. Same exact passwords, this way I don't have to reconnect every smart device that I've got, and uh, I don't have to reconnect the switch. Um, hopefully it'll be a seamless. All right, Wi-Fi name and password have been plugged in, now it's setting up the network for me. We're having trouble reaching the internet. Things to try. Moto may still be restarting. Wait for it to come online. If you haven't restarted your modem, please do so now. I've done that. Um, this modem, I know uh, from past experiences, it does take a little while to uh, get itself reconnected to the internet and everything. So I will go and check on that and we'll see if it's good to go yet. All right, so it does say that it's online. I'll try it again. Mm -hmm. 
your network is now up and running. Next, we'll have you set up my other Euro device. All right, let's go on and do that. Ready to set up another Euro, 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 I don't know how you pronounce it, Euro device. Now that your gateway device is up and running, adding other devices is easy. Let's add another device, and this is where I will get the second one, and I will put it in the bedroom, farthest room from the gateway device. Take this one out, and the power cord. And now we'll go plug it in. All right, so I've got the second Euro plugged in. It's lit up. Let's see how long it takes to find it. All right, it looks like I found it. Let's see if it likes where I put it. I think I'm going to turn off the buzzing that is constantly going off. All right, and it is going to be in the bedroom. All right, so I'm going to back out of this one because it's taking several minutes and it doesn't seem to be getting anywhere. Let's try it again. Go to the bedroom, see if it sets up again. And my watch is also going crazy. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see the icon keep popping up and disappearing and if you hear my watch buzzing or not. I don't know if that's because this is trying to set this up or what's going on with that. Might be related, might be totally unrelated. Looks like your Eero is already on one of your networks. Please. I don't know what that means. Looks like this Eero is already on one of your networks. Please remove this Eero from your other network and then try again. So, uh, let's see, did all that, ready to set up another Euro device, let's finish the setup for now and find where it's connected. So it's already picked up all of my smart devices because I'm guessing I've used the same network name which is great. And you can see all of them here, and they've all got full Wi-Fi strength. Let's go to, all right, so the bedroom, Euro, connection, wireless, connected devices. So it does look like it's connected to the internet already, which is good. I don't know why it did not um, recognize that. So here's what the app is looking like. Um, all right, iPhone, so that's my work phone. Like I said, here's my smart home devices. Um, I'm not sure what all of these are. These could be my uh, Philips Hue bulbs that I've got in the kitchen and the uh, dining room table. There's four of them. That makes sense to me. Uh, the hallway bulbs, my son's switch, my uh, smart robot, named him Alfred. Um, okay, so everything looks good there. Now we will get out of this and we will do speed tests in the same locations that I did the speed tests on the Linksys router 
and compare the different speeds on the 5 gigahertz band and the 2.4 gigahertz band. And we'll see what we got there. Okay, so now I'm going to test the new Euro mesh Wi-Fi system. Uh, same place as I tested the Linksy single source. First test will be in the living room. Uh, if you remember on the Linksy's tests on the 2.4 gigahertz band, I got 8.73 download speeds, 5.2 upload. On the 5 gigahertz, I got an 80.3 download and a 5.21 upload. So we'll run the test with the Euro. Now what I've noticed uh, before I did these tests, I was trying to find a way or see if I can switch from the 2.4 to the 5.0, and you cannot select between either or. Uh, the Euro Wi-Fi routers automatically um, assign or put your devices on whichever band uh, will work best for those devices. So we got 101 megabytes download speed in the living room and a 5.21 upload speed. So much faster um, so far with the first test, um, you know, 21 megabytes faster download, uploads about the same, 5.21, but the download is what I'm mainly concerned with. Now we'll move on to the second test and we will do the kitchen and do the same thing. All right, so here we are in the kitchen. Um, if you remember, the 2.4 gigahertz had a 0.55 megabytes per second download speed. Uh, 4.45 upload speed. The 5 gigahertz had a 93 megabytes a second download speed and a 5.21 megabytes upload speed on the Linksys single router. So in the exact same spot in the kitchen and I'm already getting 100, 101, no, 99.1 download. So a little bit faster than the uh, Linksys 5.0 uh, gigahertz band, uh, six megabytes faster, 5.2 upload speed, so the upload speed is the same, and it was the same with the um, the Linksys router. No matter where I was, the upload speed was consistent, uh, 5.2, except for in the kitchen on the 2.4 was only a 4.4 upload speed. But again, the download speed is what I'm majorly concerned with. Now we will go to the spare room and repeat the same test there. All right, back in the spare room. Now the Linksys single router test on the 2.4 gigahertz band, 16 megabyte download, 5.1 upload. The five gigahertz band, 74.7 download and a 5.21 upload. Run the test on the Euro mesh. One hundred point three download, quite a bit faster, twenty five megabytes faster download. And five point two one upload. So identical to the Linksys five gigahertz upload speed, but significantly faster download speeds. Now I'll go into my bedroom and run the same test there. Okay, in the bedroom where I have the other node placed. Um, if you remember, the 2.4 download speed uh, off the Linksys was 3.63 megabytes a second. Upload was 5.2. The 5 gigahertz band was 55.8 download, and the upload was 5.23. So here, I'm expecting to see a significant improvement in um, download speed, almost double what it was with the Linksys router, especially since I am so close to the remote node. All right, 100.8 download, so that's great. I'm happy with that. I'm I'm hitting um, my ISP service plans download speed everywhere in my house. So, so far, I am happy with this system just based on these test results. All right, so what did you guys think so far? Uh, just based on the speed tests alone in the uh, four different areas of the house, um, I would say it's worth it just, just because of that. Um, I mean, the bedroom on the 5 gigahertz band, I was getting 55 megabytes a second download speed with the Linksys single source router. With the uh, the Euro mesh uh, Wi-Fi system, I was getting, you know, 100 megabytes a second download speed. Um, basically, everywhere in the house, I was getting 99, 100, or 101 megabytes a second download speed. 
uh, versus some areas was 65. Uh, the spare room was 74, and that was 10 feet away from the Linksys router. Um, it was through a wall, but still 10 feet away, and the wall is not made of steel. Uh, the kitchen, it was, uh, you know, 93 megabytes, so not a huge improvement there, but still 93 to 100 in the kitchen in that corner. Um, and then the living room, just 10, 15 feet away from the router, I was getting 80 download speed on the Lynxes versus, you know, the 99, 100, or 101 download with the Euro Mesh system. Um, so the speed alone makes it worth it for me. Uh, the other issues that I had mentioned, the... Uh, my phone, um, you know, just randomly losing connection to the network or to the internet through the network. Um, I won't know if that's fixed with this uh, mesh Wi-Fi system uh, until I use it for a little while. Um, if I don't have any issues, and it'll be a little bit before I post a follow-up video. Um, you know, if I do start having issues, then I'll post a follow-up video sooner, just letting you all know about the issues. But so far, I mean, the speed's great. Uh, the reliability will hopefully be just as good. Um, as some uh, a hidden perk that I didn't even realize when I bought it was that the uh, Euro Mesh Wi-Fi system will automatically select the best band for your device. Uh, a lot of smart smart home devices don't support five gigahertz band uh, speed, so uh, I had to manually set it up on the two point four gigahertz. Now, not a huge deal, of course, but um, <clears throat> the Euro Mesh will automatically know that and will automatically set it up on the 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, also, my phone, if I was in the bedroom scrolling Facebook or whatever, um, and being so far away, the 5 gigahertz was just unreliable, spotty, super slow, so I had to manually switch my phone network like I was doing on the speed tests with the Linksys. Um, but I had to manually select or manually change from the 5 gigahertz to the 2.4 with this Euro mesh system. Um, not that I anticipate any need for it having to switch, but it will automatically switch my phone off the five gigahertz and onto the 2.4 gigahertz because the 2.4, even though it's slower, it's got a farther reach than the five gigahertz. Um, I also like that I was able to name the network I was creating right off the bat. So that made changing off of the Linksys network or off the Linksys router to the Euro mesh router um, is super simple. I just use the same name so that all of my smart home devices and, you know, my son's switch, my phone, everything that's already set up on the Linksys network using the same name is still set up on the Linksys network. I don't have to go through uh, every smart home uh, device application and connect it to my new network, re-enter the password. And like I said, I've got 24 different uh, smart home or just different devices connected to my network. It would be a huge pain to go through each one of those 24 items and their individual apps and reset it up basically from scratch. I do not want to do that. I did not want to do that. So I was hoping that just by copying the name, I'd be able to seamlessly transition over to the new system. And it worked. So, you know, big win there. Um, but uh, well, like I said in the beginning, what did you guys think? So far, I'm liking it. Um, and if I have no issues, it'll be a while before I post a follow-up video. If I start having issues, I'll post one soon to let you all know. But hopefully I don't have any issues. I don't anticipate having any issues. Um, and what I paid for this, now I got it on Prime Day, so I got a pretty, pretty decent deal on it. Um, but even without the Prime Day deal, it would still be comparable to what I paid for my Linksys router three or four years ago. Um, so, and it is from the research I've done before I bought this one, it is a lot cheaper than some of the other mesh Wi-Fi systems out there. Now it doesn't support the new uh, six gigahertz band or whatever, but I don't even know if that's available in my area. Um, <clears throat> so that's really non-issue for me. Uh, the price is good. The setup was easy. It took 10 minutes. Uh, I struggled a little bit hooking up that second node. Or actually, I think it hooked it up good, but the app was kind of stuck on that second node, saying it was trying to connect to the internet. And then when I backed out of it and tried to reset it up, it was already set up. It was already connected. Everything was good. So I think the app just kind of acted up there versus the hardware functioned as it should have. Um, anyway, 
those are my thoughts on it. What are your guys' thoughts? Uh, if you're interested in picking one of these up, I'll post a link down below. If you're interested in anything else, uh, you know, the, the Z6 I'm using to record this, the monitor, studio lights, the accent light, the Rode microphone that I'm using, links for everything will be down below. And like I asked earlier, if you like this video, please hit that like button for me. If you like the content and you want to see more and you want to keep up with it, hit that subscribe button for me. And if you got a question, uh, comment, feedback on this Euro Mesh system, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. And one last time, I apologize for missing last week's video. I was sick and I tried to shoot it, but I just couldn't keep my nose out of a tissue and I just was not up for making a video. And I'm sorry about that. Hopefully it won't happen again. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, you know, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope to see you guys next time.